Good morning. It's lovely to see you. It is Friday the 20th of November and we're looking at Isaiah 40, verses 1 to 11. It's one of these passages in the Bible. Oh, stop a minute and read it. Welcome back. It's one of these passages in the Bible that could be entitled Hope for What Could Be. And never in your or my lifetimes has a whole nation, a whole world been hoping for the same thing. So in such a concentrated form. And never ever has it been truer that it's all in our hands in so many ways how we behave over the next few weeks is dependent on how a virus spreads or does not spread. And so our hope is contingent on our actions as well as hoping for intervention from vaccination and treatment. When we say we hope for God's will to be done, we hope for God's redemption. Part of that hope has to be an understanding that what we do has got an effect on that. How we love, how we care, how we empathise, how we bring compassion. How we put others first occasionally, maybe even more than occasionally. So what we thought about prophecy, it's not just something that comes from the ether and it's and it, the coming about of prophecy is not just something that God touches a key on God's very own computer and makes it happen. Everything that happens, absolutely everything, has got an element of our action in it, or our inaction, or our negative action. So you're important. We're important for God's will to be done, for hope to be real, and for tomorrow to be better. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you on Monday, Monday the 23rd of November. I just know.